G'day Marvel Future Fight Gamers, Vader G here. Uh, we're back in the test build and finally have built up, uh, it takes a long time man, I'm telling you, it takes a long time. Build up Dr. Octopus to give him a run in a Lions battle. Uh, hopefully we get through it this time. Uh, you can see I've just chucked some, uh, I've just chucked some uh, attack euro on him here and a bit of dodge and a bit of crit uh, pretty well. He's, um, his awakened skill is at uh, top level now, so it's belting out those sort of stats, which which looks on insane on paper. Got a CTP rage, got a basic ISO set. So so look, you know, it's a it's a pretty basic build, and it's resulting in some pretty basic type stats. Um, having said that, compared to Electro, he has the advantage of having a uniform, so I can get his dodge rate up reasonably high. Uh, his crit rate gets boosted from his 6 skill. Um, Electro's crit rate gets boosted from one of his skills as well. Uh, so it's probably not that big a deal. Crit damage at 160, uh, certainly not ideal there. If we have a quick look at uh, Electro and see what he looks like, what have I done with him? Um, I've kind of just boosted him up. So we're going to be using the same team. So it's going to be the Speed Villain team uh, to do our comparisons. Uh, where are you, you punk? So we'll put him here, we'll put him in favourites anyway. And you can sort of see, is I've got pretty well the same sort of setup. I've got some 6-star energy attack, some 5-star dodge on him, uh, and I've got some skill cooldown stuff, because he, he, it's difficult to actually uh, cap stats with him. Skills maxed. Um, I saw a got overdrive just at basic level, so uh, stage 6. Uh, custom gear, I'll have to, because I've got no CTBs of Rage and you, there's no way of acquiring them um, in uh, in the test server, uh, I've only got one, which is equipped to Dr. Octopus there, so I'm going to have to swap them back and backwards and forwards. But anyway, I suppose I suppose we probably should have looked at these stats, right, before we got into this thing. So, the CTP of Rage has around about 30% uh, crit rate, so imagine the stats... Uh, with an extra 30% crit rate. So we're going to be up around about that 57% mark. Crit damage is pathetic, actually 140%. Dodge, 37%. So without a uniform, he really struggles. And in this test server environment, without OBs, uh, Odin's Blessings, and that sort of thing, he certainly struggles as well. Um, so we've got an energy attack of 22k versus a physical attack of 26k. Let's see how it goes. So what I might do is I might give uh, uh, I'll give Doctor Octopus a run first. I haven't never run him before in a lines battle. I tried before and it it um, it basically screwed up uh, the lines battle thing. I couldn't activate skills or whatever. But found that you had to unequip and reequip the uniform and and then it all seems to be working fine. All right. So that's the explanation. What we're going to do this the score is not important. Forget the actual score like the end score. What we're looking for is a comparison. This test server environment is different from the normal server. Uh, so we're looking for a score comparison. Does he beat Electro? And roughly by how much percent does he beat Electro? Um, with, you can't say the similar builds because one's got a uniform, one doesn't. But I guess with a, as similar builds as what I can get in this environment. All right, guys, thanks. So we're going to use the identical teams on both runs just to keep things even. We're going to be using uh, Electro Lead for his Sinister 6 uh, leadership. Try saying that 50 times in a row. Um, we're going to use Black Cat because she gives um, she gives a, a, a reasonable team up and she will probably be the likely uh, candidate for use in, um, in the actual server as well. And obviously for this particular run we're going to use Superior Octopus. I've no idea what I'm doing with the 6th skill, I don't know whether I should cancel it, whether I should let it run, I, I, I don't know. 3rd skill, is, it gets a 200% damage proc on the 3rd skill, so I'll probably let that run. Um, the 5th skill, probably let it run as well on the 4th, it may end up just being 3, 4, 5, uh, depending on his uh, skill cooldown and his attack speed. Alright, let's give this a whirl. All right, ignore my noisy keyboard. Where is the frickin' mouse? There we go. Probably 
probably should have done the six skill first. But anyway, we've got it rolling now. Throws down some pretty good damage, eh? It's just that the score meter is just consistently going up. No idea what I'm doing with skill rotation, so don't think of this as any kind of guide or anything crazy like that for skill rotation. Let's see if we can get the third skill with the rage proc. Seems to. Alright. And he's rolling out some pretty decent points here, eh? And I'm just spamming shit. I don't really know what I'm doing. Let's get that awakening skill out there. Yeah, it just piles the points up. So is that third skill. No, I don't want to get meteored. Somehow dodge it. Alright, we should get the proc here. Throw down, baby. Oh, the guard broken on that third skill right when I was about to go into proc. So I believe the beast has increased defense in this test server compared to uh, what normal alliance battle is. So I don't think that just because people can get 1.4, 1.5 million. That is going to happen like in normal server, that's going to happen in this server. Well, no proc all our gear and had no proc. Okay, so what do we got there? We got one million uh, on a first run. Uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, improve it a bit before I swap the uh, CTP of Rage over to, um, to Electro and do a comparison. Alright guys. Alright, so we got a few runs there all around that 1.04 million um, 1.03, not really sure if I'm playing him right, but even if he's better than, uh, if he's better than, um, Electro, it shouldn't really matter that much. So let's chuck this, uh, CTP of Rage on Electro, and, uh, let's do a comparison test. We're on the same team. Well, actually, we probably should run Ghost. We need to run Ghost, not, uh, Superior Octopus. For um, for electro, so let's do that. If I can find her, she always seems impossible to find in these things. Okay, so electro lead. Let's see if the king is dead. Electro lead ghost. Is she not up here. Sorry guys. Sorry for all the scrolling. Looking for ghosts, there she is. And let's go Black Hat for comparison purposes. So we want to try and get up around that million. I think it's going to be pretty damn impossible um, in this test server. That's my gut feel. Uh, with Electro, you need probably, you know, 10 to 20 runs anyway to try and get a good score. But let's just see how different the score is. Cooking 
with our both of these units actually is I don't really have to move much. Tell you what, Electro's going pretty hard. Considering he's got a terrible frickin' build. But this is a bit of an established rotation. And certainly Dr. Octopus, what I was doing with him is not. I don't want to say that when you run someone for a couple of times, it's, it's an established rotation, that's for sure. I'll tell you what, Electro is still pretty, scoring pretty well. He's scoring a bit better than what I thought he would. got terrible dodge stats in this um, server. Well, actually you may not have to. I'm thinking about it without CPP Rage. better than what I thought he would. I didn't think he'd get anywhere close to the score. Okay, so what do we know? We know that um, we know that Doctor Octopus is scoring around about what are we looking at? Around about twenty percent more, close to twenty percent more with zero rotation uh, compared to Electro with a rotation. Let's go back out and have a look at uh, Electro stats now that he's got the CTP of uh, Rage on, and do a comparison of what we we're looking at with um, with Superior, uh, Superior Octopus. So let's have a quick look and see what he looks like. I have to admit, I thought the, I thought the difference would be bigger between the two. Yeah, okay, so Dodge 66.26 is not too different. It's a bit lower, of, of course, because he doesn't have a uniform. His crit damage is where the big difference is. I mean, that's freaking horrible, 140%. His crit rate he gets from his skill anyway. He, he gets that up to, uh, he'll get that up to 75%. No dramas. The crit damage is horrible. Um, he's still pretty damn good. Uh, Electro is still pretty good. So I'm, I'm look. Obviously, Superior Octopus is going to score more. Let's have a look at our cards. See if there's a difference between um, between physical and energy. No, they're pretty much the same. They're pretty. It's pretty similar. Eh? So their Euro their Euro setup is the same. So it's kind of it's a win superior to superior octopus how much of a win well we have to get a rotation down pat and figure that out um probably not as convincing as a win as what i thought particularly with that six skill his six skill looks mental it looks so powerful and insane um and and maybe maybe there's some cancelling of that skill to get uh, better scores I, I don't know how it I don't know how it works. It does seem to, when you let it run, it does seem to do some pretty decent damage. That uh, The score just keeps on ticking along and along, uh, just with doing the 6th skill, the 5th skill, the 4th skill, and the 3rd skill, and trying to get the 3rd skill in the proc, because it's got the 200% damage uh, increase on the skill, as well as the rage proc. Hmm, interesting. I'm not really sure if I'm going to get time to uh, to muck around with, uh, with Viper at all. Uh, I'll, I'll see how I go. 
and we can do a comparison of her maybe versus Minerva but I'm going to have to get my ass in the gear if I'm going to do that because it's getting late here and I'm on a computer that is in a room that um, someone needs to go to sleep in so alright guys thanks for watching